Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and we are going to talk about the September 2018 newsletter that came out this week. We had big news. We got a new title release from Stonemaier Games. It was announced that their new game is Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is a mashup of sorts between Between Two Cities and the castles of Mad King Ludwig. We got a lot of different opinions on that game, almost solely based on how you felt about one game or the other. If you loved Between Two Cities, then you were probably excited about this. If you loved the castles of Mad King Ludwig, you were probably excited about this. And it seemed like your experience with those games kind of drove whether you were really excited about this game or whether you were kind of like, meh. Confession time. I didn't really know how to feel about this release, I guess. It was a situation where I've not played Between Two Cities and I've not played the castles of Mad King Ludwig except for on uh, the iPad. So I didn't really, I wasn't super psyched, but I also knew that because Stonemeyer was making it, because of the pedigree of uh, Between Two Cities, because of the pedigree of the palaces of Mad King Ludwig, that it was going to be exciting. I don't think that the Stonemeyer's in the habit of making shovelware, so is that just a software reference? Maybe? <laughs> I, I don't think that they would have done it if it wasn't worthwhile, and so I'm watching the review videos that were already available because this was kept secret for so long. Watching those review videos and listening to the the review from Tantrum House and listening to the review from Rado really got me excited. Particularly Rado's opinion of the game, his review of the game, he was just psyched, right? Like I skipped right to the, the conclusions or the final thoughts and he was very hot on the game. And so I think anybody that talks that excited about a game, anybody who is that psyched about a game, they kind of get you feeling that way, right? So I was really hot on the game after that. What's the story between between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. It is developed by Ben Rossett and Matthew O'Malley. It was also designed or, or it was, there was contribution on behalf of Jamie. There was contribution on behalf of Ted Alsbach. It sounds like everyone is really pleased about the way this title turned out. One of the questions I posed to the Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig Facebook group was, what do you want to know about in this video? I mean, this is a fan channel, so what do you want to know? And one of the things that came up was, what's Bezier's side of the story? I mean, we've heard, we've heard Stonemeyer talk about it in his interviews, but how's Bezier feel? What's their story? And so I sent an email to Ted Alspeck and I said, what do you want them to know? Or, you know, what was your involvement in this? And, you know, he told me that Ben and Matthew and Jamie approached him last year about this project. It was something that Ben and Matthew had worked on. They had approached Jamie and said, how would you feel about doing another Between Two Cities title? By the way, it borrows a lot of the same mechanics from the Castles of Mad King Ludwig. I think Jamie probably hit the roof when he heard that because that's his favorite game. And I guess the rest is history. Ted was supportive. He got to see and play the game last year at Gen Con. And he said, very positive in his email back to me. He said that every time he's had a chance to play the game since, it's got better and better. He's very excited about it. Very complimentary of Jamie, very complimentary of Matthew and Ben. And so, yeah, I'm excited. One of the really cool things about this is how long Jamie kept this secret, how long everybody in playtesting, how long Matthew and Ben, how long everybody who knew about this title kept it a secret because the game was announced on this past Wednesday as of recording. Pre-orders went live that day. The game releases to retail October 19th? October 19th. If you're a Stonemeyer champion and you pre-order the game by... September, oh, I wrote this down. Well, I wrote it down, but I did not put a date. The first week of September, maybe there's a day or two after that, you'll get it by mid-September. I mean, the turnaround on this is ridiculous. It's awesome. I love when you hear about a title and you get super excited about it and you can have it right away. I mean, like, that's the best, right? There was an example of this in video games not too long ago, and that was 
the big Fallout 4 reveal and Bethesda had kept that a secret and they came and they showed it off and they said, oh, by the way, it's going to be available in a month or two. And it blew minds because that's just not how things are done, especially today. It seems like we have a lot of Kickstarter titles and I love Kickstarter games, right? I, I do. I have, I have a lot of them. But it's one of those deals where you pay for it. You hear about it. You get excited about it. And then you wait and you wait and you wait. I guess that's part of the experience. You feel like you're part of building this thing up with stretch goals and stuff like that. But I mean, the cat between two castles and Mad King Ludwig, I mean, the stretch goals, I mean, Jamie doesn't do Kickstarter anymore, but like those stretch goals, those things that we would have got, I mean, they're already available to us, right? This thing comes with this awesome game trays, four piece, I don't know what to call it, um, organizer. And the game stores in the box, fully set up for the next play. I mean, you literally just take the organizer out, pop off the lids, and it's ready to go. That's awesome. One of the things that Jamie told me when we talked about this fan channel was watch my videos and read my newsletters because I drop a lot of hints. I thought, thanks Jamie, trying to get some more views. I, I'll be sarcastic in my head too, right? So, I mean, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, sure thing, man, I'll watch your videos, no problem. I did watch some of them, but now I watched all of them. You know, he's right. He drops a lot of hints, a lot of spoilers, not spoilers, but a lot of, I guess, Easter eggs, hints, in his Instagram, in his YouTube videos. And so I thought it might be kind of fun to show you some of the stuff that happened leading up to the announcement of the game. One of them was, I mean, the most obvious one was actually this last month now, because it's the first right now. That was, there was just a clip it of the box art, right? Just a, a snippet of the box art. And we saw a little bit up close it sent me on a wild goose chase. The reason why is because we knew this was Codename Combo. We didn't know, you know, what this game was. And so looking in the art really close, there were three eggs. They look like eggs. Josh Ward from the Facebook group kind of poked me and, and said, uh, they're just bushes, nice bushes in the shape of eggs. I didn't believe him. I thought he was pulling my chain there. I started looking through Jamie's Instagram feed and looking for these eggs. And I remember earlier in the year, like it might've been January or February, he posted, these are components for our new game. Which one do you like the best? And there was a few eggs and I thought, hey, there's eggs in this picture, this, this latest picture, there's eggs back here in this, there's gonna be eggs in this game. So I was trying to imagine what combo could be. I don't think there's any eggs in, between Two Castles and Mad King Ludwig. Um, so that was one of them. That was one of the Easter eggs or teases. I don't know if this necessarily counts as a hint because Jamie's favorite game is Castles of Mad King Ludwig, but he's been playing a lot of Castles of Mad King Ludwig lately. And so it pop up in an Instagram feed. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but that was out there. And so I thought after the fact, looking back, hmm, were these hints? They probably were, although not directly. Another thing that recently came up was Jamie had mentioned that he posted a video. I don't remember if this was a Facebook video or an Instagram live thing of Walter walking out of a closet, out of his closet. And the box for the new game was right there. I mean, it was obscured. No one noticed it, or at least they didn't say anything, but that was one way the game release was almost spoiled. I guess if you had guessed that the new game was going to be Between Two Castles and Mad King Ludwig, then you might have been looking for it on Stonemeyer's website. Uh, the URLs that are generated are pretty easy to guess. You have games slash scythe, games slash scythe, the wind gambit. If you knew that the new what the new title's name was or you guessed at it, I guess there were a couple of times Jamie accidentally published the the game to the live website. Now there was no links to it. You had to actually know the URL, but you could have found it. I'd really be curious to know if any of you did. Um, if you did and you kept the secret, that's really cool because this secret was huge and it was great that we got to keep it right up until the last minute. Let's get to the biggest hint that we got looking back. And that is 
Jamie wrote a blog post about his Gen Con 2018 experience. And I mean, he went through and rated everything from the hotel to the Gen Con workers to most hilariously his cats. And one of the things he had listed under partners was a picture of a Japanese language catalog called Arclight. In this Arclight catalog was just serendipitously the castles of Mad King Ludwig sitting right next to, between two cities, those two items on the page all alone together. I don't know if there was any chance that this was not an accident or if it was just one of those things that just happened and Jamie probably looked down at the book or the catalog and went, oh no. Obviously nobody took greater meaning from it as far as I know. I didn't hear anything about anyone spoiling this. So yeah, I mean, that's really cool that those two items just happen to be side by side in a catalog. So yeah, let me know what you're thinking about Between Two Castles and Mad King Ludwig. I would be interested to know, did you pre-order it? Are you going to pre-order it? Are you a fan of either game? Are you maybe a Stonemaier fan and you're not really hot on either game, but you think that they're going to do it right? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. You can leave them in the comments below. If you want to hear more from the mill, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any topics you'd like to hear me talk about, um, any stuff you'd like me to look into, just leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Blah. Um, 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 but, uh, um, so, um, and so what? <clears throat> Why are you shaking your head? Um, um. All right, I'm gonna try and make a video with that. <laughs>